We are going to stand and take up some space in our spaces. Reach the arms up, lift the chest, break open that heart. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale, fold forward, soften the knees, shake the head out, move the jaw around, and then roll to rise up. Inhale, reach again. Exhale, round and roll. Maybe give it a little sway. Last time, roll yourself up, rise, and exhale, release. Roll yourself up, shake it all off, and walk your way over to your playlist. We're hitting play in five, four, three, two, one. Hit play. Should be a Britney Spears track. Then come back to your mat. We're gonna start with a shoulder roll. So place your hands on your shoulders, roll your shoulders back and forward. Bring them back and forward. Four more, bring them back and forward. Last two, back and forward. Last one, bring them back and forward. From here, it's a high march. Feet wide apart. So if you feel weird doing it, you're doing it right. I'm really charging up the arms, traveling front to back. Deep breath in and deep breath out, double time. So abs in tight as you hop it. If doing that double time does not feel good on your joints, don't do it. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, squats. Right here, drop it down and rise. On your squat, just like I always say, I'm tucking my seat, drop it back and squeeze. Put yourself in a porta potty and think about hover, and stand away from it. Inhale and squeeze. You may start to feel that heart rate already rising up. That's the goal. Last four more. Three more. We're going to take it to a back lunge in two and one. Right here, right leg back. Step, lunge, rise. Step it in, same side. Step, lunge, rise. Same side. Four more. Step, lunge, rise. Three more. Step, Lunge, rise, we'll hold it back at the back in two. Lunge, rise, last one here, hold it back. Hold the lunge and pulse. Good, we're gonna look over that left shoulder. In three, two, static lunge, it's twist and center. Twist and center, two more, twist and twist. Switch sides, it's step, lunge, rise and center. Five more, step, lunge, Rise, awesome. Last four, press into those feet. Three, chest is lifted. Slight squeeze, two more, nice Lauren. And squeeze, last one here. Hold it back, pulse it out. Good, give me four, three, two, hold it down, twist right. Twist right, two more, right. And right, step it in, feet nice and wide apart. Take your hands to your hips, roll the shoulders back. It's a hinge, reach, pull, and rise. Hinge, reach, pull, and rise. Two more, it's hinge, reach, and pull. Last one, hinge, reach, and pull. Rise, hands on the mat, step it back, right foot reaches forward, ring out that right wrist. Come back through center, switch your side, left to left, open up that chest, bring out the wrist of the left, come back to plank, step the feet in, roll yourself to stand. If you need a sip of water, now's a great time to grab it. We're gonna start with our weights. So I'm using fives. If you wanna use something heavier, you can. 30 second deadlift, my feet are shoulder width apart. Hinge and pull. Don't worry about the tempo of the music. Focus mostly on the posture. We just warmed up with a body weight deadlift. We're adding a little load to that spine here. Squeeze. Now, here's the bad news. In our second 30 seconds, we keep the deadlift and we're adding an overhead press. All right, so you're gonna keep deadlifting. Come with my deadlift here. Hinge, rise, press, return. Hinge, rise, 
press. Good. Hinge, rise, press. You got it. Hinge, squeeze, press. Abs in tight as you reach the weight over your head. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Nice. We're going to set those weights down and get that heart rate up for a jack and jab in four, three, two, set them down. Jumping jack, jab right. Jack, jab left. Jack, jab right. Jack, jab left. If you want a little, little quicker, you do you, boo. This is my tempo. Good. Awesome. I need you guys to hold me accountable today. Don't let me take rest. Make me move. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and that's a rest. This is your 30 seconds to chill. Everything we've done, we're gonna do again. You'll get your 30 second rest. Then we have another round. On that third round, you have a one minute burner, okay? So far, so good. Sip of water or iced coffee if you're me. Return, grab your weights. Deadlift first, we add the press, then we set it down. Four, three, two, hinge and rise. So I keep a soft bend in my knees, right? I'm not locking those joints. I want you to spread your feet out. So I did not wear shoes for that very reason. I can see my toes. I'm spreading my toes out. Press myself up standing, my back stays engaged. If it helps you to roll the shoulders back, do that. Four, three, we add the overhead press right here. Press and return. Press and return. Most of the weight is in the heels of my feet, but I still have weight in the toes, right? Yeah. Awesome, this looks good. Just looking at form here, nice Michelle. Good Karen. Awesome Ruth, always. Nice Shana. Last six, five, four. Make this your last one. Hinge, rise and press, set them down, jack and jack. Good. I don't know if anybody in here is a RuPaul's Drag Race fan, but if you are, I'm playing my favorite RuPaul song. It's coming. I'm real pumped. I am a huge Drag Race fan. Good, finish this round out. Nice and strong. Two, and that's a rest. So let's talk about that one minute burner that I was mentioning at the top of this class. That one minute burner is split into two different sides. One arm out to the side, turn the toe out. You're not gonna let that foot touch the floor. That'll be 30 seconds and then the other 30 seconds. Doesn't look like much, but I promise you, you'll feel the sides. Are we ready? Say yes. Awesome, grab the weights in eight, six, four, deadlifts. In three, in two, in one, let's go. It's hinge, squeeze. I feel a stretch where my hips meet my legs. So think about the bottom of the butt cheek squeezing together. Let your neck come with you to the spine party. I know the neck is part of the spine, but sometimes we think about it differently. So you're allowing the chest and shin to keep the same degree. Same space. Let's add that overhead press now. Hinge, pull and press. Good. If the weights don't feel like much to you today, I challenge you next week, or maybe even in the break, to go for a little heavier weight. Good, finish seven, six, five. We're gonna set these weights down in four seconds. Three, jack and jab in two and one. Set it down, here we go. Who is your favorite drag race contestant? Of all time, all right, of all time. Not just the last couple seasons. Get that heart rate up, so good for the heart, so good for the circulatory system. Let's go, finish it out. Your burner is coming. Three, two, find balance on the left. Left arm out, hold. I'm not letting that right foot touch the floor. 
Yeah, so add a little side bend in there. From the side, I'm leaning towards the right. If my elbow doesn't touch my knee, is that okay? Yes. You move to a range of motion that's pain-free. Yes, because here's the deal. Progress, not perfection. Progress. Can you get a little bit more? Yes, switch sides. Right arm out, left arm connects. Remember, you're gonna hold me accountable here. I'm working with you. This is a community effort. Earn the minute long recovery, right? Instead of getting just 30 seconds, we're gonna get a whole 60. Good. Couple more pulls, finish it out. Six, five, four, three, two, and that's a rest. Okay, you're done with block one. And the burners you never see again. So that's the good news, right? Bad news is we have three more blocks and our six minute finisher. So here's what's next, just so that we're all on the same page. We're gonna come into an isometric curl. So you're gonna want your weights. I'm using fives. We're taking alternating reverse lunges. This is why we warmed up with them. So you're gonna bring it into that reverse lunge and switch. That's effort one. Effort two, you find a chair pose and you pull the elbows back with the palms facing up. That's called a supinated row in chair pose. Third effort is going to be a transverse squat and peel it apart. All right, so we keep the weights the whole entire time. Can I set the weights down at any point? The answer is yes. All right, are we ready? Yes, yes. Four, three, two, server arms, it's step and switch. Step and switch. Take the big back lunge here. From the side, I'm keeping my upper body slightly pinched forward and I'm squeezing my seat when my feet come together. Tuck the tail. You're holding two trays of cheese and other heavy items. All right, so in a moment, we're gonna find that chair pose. Keep the palms facing up and pull. So I want you to imagine you're pulling the elbows close together behind the middle of your back, showing you from the side. Awesome, now next up, we've got a transverse or a diagonal lunge alternating with the peel of the arms. Last six, four. Stand tall in two and one, weights in front of the chest. Step open and switch. Step open and switch. From the front, I open up to the corner, I peel. I come back through center, I open up to the other corner, and I peel. Good. Yes, yeah, so we're still doing our back body here. Squeeze. Your knees bend at the same rate, so make sure you're not lunging. It's a squat. Three, two, and that's a rest. Okay. Now, that was the learning phase. Second phase is the tweak phase. What can your body and brain recall? And can you move quicker? Can you move deeper? Third phase is the polish phase. We're not there yet. All right, here we go, here we go. Lunge with an isometric bicep curl. My palms are parallel. Three, two, and one, reverse lunge. Let's go, drop and squeeze. So on the warm up, we took a little pause as we step back. On the work, no pause. We get more done in the allotment of 30 seconds. Less is more, quality over quantity. We've got our chair pose and pull in eight, seven, six, five, four. Find your squat, feet together, pull. Reach, pull. I tend to be a beats driven person, which is why I typically find music that's around 126 to 132 beats. That's great for weightlifting. Ooh, here's my track. All right. Get a little lower in your chair, wiggle the toes. Two and one, hands together, open out right, peel. Come back, open out left. 
You guys, I have to say this. This track always makes me feel so powerful. And I'll tell you right now, it's why I enjoy making playlists because I have the opportunity to pick tracks that make me push myself just a little bit more. Especially in a cycling class, for example, that is time. It really makes the time fly by. Masters of that walk. All right. So, tweak phase, how'd that feel? Keiko, do you like it? Awesome, Karen, how you doing? Denise? All right, third round, okay? Brag your weights, your red row to T press. I'll show you when we get there, all right? Three, two, and one, let's go. It's reverse and rise. Keep sleeping. And if you have not watched this series, I know, I know I'm kind of going on and on about RuPaul today, but sometimes when there's a lot of darkness in the world, we just got to follow the light. And RuPaul is so positive. So if you just want a feel-good show, that's a feel-good show. All right, we're going to find that squat, pull. I don't know about you, but my biceps are burning. Maybe I'm just crazy here. Well, don't answer that. That's the truth. Now on our burner, you're gonna bring your weights with you. I'm just gonna turn the camera lens a little further down so you can see. We'll need our mat for this action. Not yet, we got one more thing to go, right? So close. Good, we're gonna go for that transverse squat and peel. Two and one, stand up tall. Open left, peel open. Center it out, open right, peel open. So I like working total body because then I burn more calories. Just burn more because more body parts are moving at the same time. Also, it's a brain buster. You'll just need one weight when you come down. I, I was not very clear. So you can keep one weight behind. Four, three, two, give you one more. One, awesome job. I'm gonna keep one weight. Place it on my mat. Stagger my hands. You're gonna give me a renegade row, pull, twist, back through center, repeat. Pull, twist, back through center, right alignment with the chest cavity. This is for time because I don't want you to go fast. You'll notice in set one, it was a lot of cardio. Set two, a lot of strength. Good, you're halfway through right here. If you end up having to modify, I could do this body weight. Otherwise, keep your weight, pull, and push the weight to the sky. Return and switch. Pull and push. Good. Earn your minute-long recovery because it's coming in just a few moments here. If you need to modify entirely, a forearm plank works. Or just team. Finishing in two and one, and that's it. Nice, Sarah. Good, Michelle. Always good, Amanda. Really, really nice. Shirley, I love it. Oh, I forgot to give you props for your shampoo conditioner today. She's on it. All right, guys. So we're halfway through our blocks. Let's talk about block three. In block number three, we're on the floor, all right? So for me, I'm gonna take my mat and I'm just gonna unravel it a little bit. So I've got some more padding underneath my body. I'm showing this to you from the side. You do not need your weights for any of this, all right? So you're on your hip. Your bottom arm is gonna wrap along your ribs. Your top arm is gonna press right in front of your chest. You're gonna lift yourself up and pull, allow yourself back down. The head stays lifted. If you want a pillow underneath your head, you could use that and switch, all right? Okay, so here we go, three, Two, that's how fast the minute went by. One, and begin. It's a press and release. Now, if this is not working for your shoulder, you can do something totally different, all right? So my friends that have shoulder stuff, you're gonna find a wall and you're gonna do push-ups and push away. I know that my camera lens isn't quite perfect for that, but you're pushing your hands off the wall. Yes, Sarah. Switch sides, everybody. So if you're on that left-hand side, Move it to the right hand side. Let's do that left arm. 
So if it helps to just flip your body over instead of face your camera lens, you can. I'm just facing you because it feels weird to face the wall for me. Your knees are softly bent. I think of this as more of a fetal position. <sighs> Upper body strength. So what do you think is happening in effort number three? We have a plank with shoulder taps. So if being on your shoulders doesn't work, I want you to find a bridge pose and hold it. Otherwise, plank position. Feet wider than the mat. Right to left, left to right. Notice if your hips are rocking. See if you can keep your hips from moving side to side. Awesome job, team. You've got 15. Make sure those hands don't creep up by the face, but they're right in alignment with your nipple line. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Now, in your second round, if you want more, your shoulder taps will be four plus one push-up. You don't have to do that. You do you. Modification for that floor, wall push-ups, you'll do those for a minute. Then you'll come to the floor and do a bridge if your shoulders are burning, okay? So, here we go. Side to start on is the second side. Three, two, one, here we go. Triceps push-up, I feel this right through the back of my arm. I also feel this will do it in my side body. So I feel this a little through my obliques. And obviously it takes a little coordination. <laughs> Yesterday I had a little surprise kitty underneath my bed. It's not today though. <sighs> Angel was like totally just watching me work out. It was like, not fair, not fair. So bottom arm wraps, top arm pushes. Listen, I'm not worried about how fast. Notice how I'm taking a little break here. I'm taking little breaks. So I do good pushes. Nice, Amanda, that looks good. Good, Emily. Finishing strong, team. Give me one more. Then flip it onto the hands and the feet, shoulder taps. So four shoulder taps, one push-up. Four shoulder taps, one push-up, or no push-up. You get to be the master of your own domain. Nice, Rachel. Yes. And Tracy, your cat is so freaking cute. Tracy's just using an image of her gorgeous cat. So she must just have my heart here. Uh-huh. Nice, Michelle. That is time, team. Okay, so here's the deal. That was the tweak round, right? So our third round, what's that? We work on everything. It's progress. We push. What's the active one minute? Great question. That's why I don't memorize shiz. You're going to start on your back and you're going to roll yourself up and try to reach off the floor. All right, that's your active recovery for one. Pick a side, stick to it. Don't worry, I'll show you it again more if you missed it. Bottom arm, wraps. Top arm, push, maybe half release. Push, half, push. So what I'm doing here is I'm not letting my shoulder rest on the floor. I'm using strength in like a half range of motion push to really work the back of my arm on the right. Do I have to do that? No, it's just a progression. Switch your sides, please. Three, two, and one, here we go. Same thing on the other side. So if I did this on side one for the last few reps, Maybe I also do it on side two just to say balance in the body. Or maybe one of your shoulders is like, that's crazy, can't do it. Come to the wall, work on shoulder alignment. Your hands will be right in alignment with that shoulder head, with the top of the breast or the top of the chest cavity of the pectoral major. Awesome. Flip over on the hands and feet. Good. Once you're on hands and feet, optional. Shoulder taps, you just stay right here. You could stay right here too. And then you could also add a push up into four taps. Your call. Next up, we're on our backs, and you don't need anything but your mat and a good cat. We're just going to rock and roll around. If that does not feel good to you, instead of the rocking and the rolling, you could hold a V sit. So that's an option. So V sit hold looks like this. Otherwise, you're on your back. You're going to rock yourself up 
Look, mom, no hands. Try to get those hips off the floor. I really feel this in my abs. And I also feel a little breeze on my body. So my room tends to get pretty warm. If this isn't working and leaving the uh, floor with your feet or your hips doesn't feel good, do a little roll like a ball. Hold those shins, lift and extend. So you're not letting those toes touch the ground. So there's a lot of options for everybody taking this class today. All I'm asking is not letting yourself stop moving. Keep going, keep pushing. You have 15 seconds. Maybe you stand yourself all the way up. Maybe you come back down and you try it again. And you come back down. Maybe you don't get up the third time because you're done, all right? So we've learned three blocks. Rest. How we feel? Okie dokie. We're gonna channel our inner jump ropers. If you don't have a jump rope, don't worry about it because it's called fake jump rope. So I want you to picture yourself as the world's best jump roper. That's the first 30 seconds. So it's a little hop on the balls of the feet. Nice light landing, knees stay soft. Then we have a lateral lunge with the hip circle, one side, then the other side, that's it, all right? Then you've learned your blocks. All right, hands to the screen, my friends. This is it, last block. Stand it up, I'm gonna change the angle of my camera. Woo, so hold your jump rope at your sides, get those arms moving already. All right, for me, I'm gonna roll that mat up a little bit. Three, two, let's go. Maybe add a little crossover, maybe a little double under. Yeah, maybe a little heels. Maybe you do a little kick. But you can be as creative or non-creative as you want. Yes. I like to move around with my jump rope. Nice. Good, good. Now next, we've got a lateral lunge, right side only. Timer starts in six. Three, one, begin. Lateral lunge, hip circle. Lateral lunge, hip circle. Lateral lunge, hip circle. From the front, side and circle up and out. Side, circle up and out. Side, circle up and out. Hips back, right? Back stays flat. You've got three, two, switch your side. Lateral lunge, in to out. Your goal, try not to let that left foot touch the ground between the lunge and the hip circle. So you're keeping balance in the right foot. Spread that right foot out. Nice. Huh. All good, Lauren. <laughs> Three, two, and time, work happens. That's it. Okay, so if you wanna level up, if you're channeling your inner Sierra today, grab one weight, have it around. We're not gonna use it for the jump rope, but we are gonna use it for the lateral lunge if you so choose to use it, okay? Not a necessity, an option for the tweak phase, all right? I have my weights right here. I'm gonna move my mat out of my way so I don't trip on it. Fake jump rope in three, two, one. Let's get crazy. Maybe you add a little butt kicker. Maybe you move ahead of the beat. But I want you to pretend with the arms. This right here, this is a non-negotiable. Arms moving. Could I go backwards? Yes. <laughs> but you gotta spin that jump rope, otherwise you're just jumping in place, which is fine but we're working the arms. That's part of the work. Yes, Shirley. Three, two, if you're using a weight, hold it with both hands. Big hip circle, lateral lunge pocket. Hip circle, lateral lunge pocket. So from the front, hip circle, pocket that weight. Come back up, hip circle, pocket the weight. Hip circle, pocket. So I'm trying to twist my torso towards that left hip. Three, two, switch your sides. That's my right side. Pocket, hip circle. 
pocket. See across your torso. Hip circle. Good. Pocket it back. Hip circle. Open close. Yep. Nice. So next time, if this is feeling like something you want to do, you'll grab the second weight. All right. Three, two, finish this rep out, and one. So for me, I'm going to grab both my fives using 10 pound weight for that pocket if I so choose, right? What's your burner for this last action? You're going to kneel on your mat. So for me, I like to have my mat fairly thick for my knees because my knees are a little sensitive. And this is a kind of a cheeky mat. So have that mat in the front. Then, sip of water if you need it. For me, I do. And your timer starts now. Let's go. Let's jump up. Whew. Lost track of time there. I know you're all upset because I'm like, oh, two seconds less on this jump rope. That's just not fair. Maybe I add a little double under action to kind of make up for that, right? Here's the deal. If your legs are getting tired, could the arms continue? Yes, yes. So say, for example, you're just breathless. Then you're going to move those arms. Arm cardio is great. Good for you. Three, two, and one. Pick your weight. Good. Either foot. I'm going to do my right. So I'm pocketing both of my arms to my right hip as if I have a big pocket, like a big pair of really baggy Jinko jeans. And I'm trying to pocket those weights right into that hip crease. Big lateral lunge. Make sure you're pushing through the outer edge of the left foot. Three, two, and one. We switch. Lateral lunge left, twist, and hip circle. Lunge, twist, hip circle. Good, you've got it. Now, make sure you've got your mat ready. I'm going to show you what you're doing here in just a moment. Just moving my camera down a little bit for everyone. Finishing strong in five, four, three, two. Grab your mat, lay it out. Kneeling position. So you're on the tops of the feet. Then from here, weights come in front of the chest. Reach them far out, twist right, twist left. So for me, this 10 pounds is super challenging. If perhaps I just do one and focus on the posture, I'll still feel this great work throughout the entire torso. You guys, I just lost my second target nail. It's just the day that the target nails come off, you know? You're halfway there. If this gets to be too much, fist to fist. 20 seconds, you can do it. Earn your minute recovery. And then you know everything that's coming, right? Starting at the top with the deadlifts using the weights in seven, six, five, four. Squeeze your seat, three, two, and one. All right, so you know everything you have to do. The only thing we don't repeat through are the four burners, okay? So the four burners, we don't see again, like that thing we just finished, ain't repeating it. Okay, now's a good time to grab that sip. For me, I gotta grab a hair tie because my hair is sticking to my body. All right, so grab your weights. We've got about 30 seconds. Six minutes together. That's how much time is left, six minutes. You can do anything for six minutes, and everything's 30 seconds. All righty. Grab that last sip. Let's put our hands on the screen. If you already got your weights, I see you. Stay there. All right. Pick them up. Pick them up. Seven, six, five. Deadlift start in three, in two, six minutes. Begins now. It's a hinge and pull. Back is flat. This is like a door hinge, right? There's no door that rounds, or at least there isn't in this class. You're going to add the overhead press. Don't worry about your speed. Maybe slow it down in five, four, three, two. Add it now. Deadlift, press. Come back through. Deadlift, press. Shh. 
Nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. Do your best. Maybe you're losing steam. Can you slow it down? Can you cancel out the press? Can you cancel out the deadlift? The answer to those questions is yes. Jack and jab is next. We'll set the weights down here. Jack and jab. If jumping is just out of it, focus on the jab and switch, all right? Jack, jab. All right, just so you know what's coming next. We do the isometric curl with the reverse lunges, so you'll need those weights again. All right, seven, six, five, four. Last jack and jab in three, two, one. Grab the weights right here. Hold them, rev right, rev left, rev left. Inhale down and squeeze. After this, chair pose, supinated row. All of my playlists are public on Spotify. If you like them, follow them, share them. It's one of my passions. Three, two, one. Here we go, it's cold. Can you get lower in your seat? Back is flat. Next up, transverse squat with a peel. You alternate that squat, abs and tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last pull, one. Stand it up, here we go. Lunge, or I call it a lunge, it's a squat. Squat, open, close, return. Squat, open, close, return. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, stand. Squeeze your back body, watch those shoulders, careful we're not eating the ears. Awesome job. Now next up, we're on our mats. We're coming down to our hand, side body. Go ahead and set your weights down here. Join me on the floor. Top arm wraps, or excuse me, bottom arm wraps, top arm pushes. Lift and lower. Lift and lower again. Quality over how many. Try not to let that neck drop. So tuck the chin. We're gonna switch sides here in five, in four. Give me one more, three, two. Switch your side. Set it up, three, two, one, begin. Now we have shoulder taps in plank. Next, if you wanna add a push-up, you'll do four taps to one push-up. Could I do more push-ups, Mandy? Yes. That's like asking a child if you can have more ice cream. The answer is yes. Come on up, hands and feet. Good. Plank position, right to left. Imagine, on your back, you have a champagne flute. Don't spill the champagne, meaning don't rock your hips from side to side, keep them level. Now, next up, just so you know where we're headed, we're standing up tall, we've got our fake jump rope. Timer starts in three, two, and one. See how tall, let's jump rope it up. Arms are a non-negotiable, legs are practitioner's choice. So I'm gonna change the direction of my arms a little bit. Keep the elbows tight to the wrists. The wrists stay neutral. So less with the wrists, more with the shoulders. Uh-huh. I just realized I'm like kind of a walking Adidas commercial today. That was not intentional. I just happened to put this on. Two and one. Pick a leg. I'm going to choose one weight. It's a lateral lunge pocket. Hip circle. So if that hip circle takes a moment to execute, take the moment to find the balance. You got 30 seconds, take advantage of it. This is it, team. Last 30 seconds here in five, four, three, two, one. Switch your side. Pocket, ooh, hip circle. So this is a nice little rendition of Lady Gaga's applause. It is a cool down track. Okay. Hip 
circle, and they're not all going to be perfect, right? But can I really put attention into it? Yes. We're close. This is the last few seconds here. This is three, two, and my friends, we made it. So, sip of water. And before we move into our stretch, go ahead and restart this track, just so we've got that full amount of time on the track. Then stand yourself back up. Once you're standing up, we're gonna fold forward. So I'm gonna keep my feet nice and wide apart, fold over the legs, and let, if you, if you feel good here, grab the backs of the ankles, bend the knees, and really bend and extend the hips. So I know this is tough to see in that position. So I'm grabbing the backs of my ankles, my knees are soft, my head is tucked. I'm gonna extend those legs and bend them. Heels stay down. Extend, shake that head, and bend. Let's go two more. Extend, and bend. Last one. Roll yourself to stand. Once you're standing up tall, take the right foot back, lower the right knee down on your mat. So from the side, I'm going to shift my weight forward, so fingertips aligning with the toes of my left. Then I'm going to shift my weight back and flex. And from here, come back to this kneel position, right hand to the floor, left arm reaches up, bring that right wrist, or excuse me, left wrist back. Nod the head down and up. And then return through center. Good, I'm switching sides. So for me, I'm just gonna do this sideways so you can see me a little bit. I'm in this kneeling position. Fingertips align them at the right toes, on top of your left toes. Shift your way back. So a little half hump half split. If this feels good and you want to go to full splits, I mean, by all means, do that. I don't have the space. Left hand to the floor, lift the chest, take the right arm up, bring out the right wrist, maybe wrap around the back arm. Slight tuck to the gluteal of the left. Lean back. Good. Return here. Take a seat on your mat. Once you're seated on your mat, soles the feet, meet with the chest. Peel the feet open like a book and fold into the legs. Listen, it is exactly 146. I just turned 146 a second ago. If you need to leave, I get it. I'm going to give you one more stretch, and we'll call it a day. So right foot down, left foot crosses over. Just give your body a little twist in the hips. Flex that left foot. Good. Return and switch. Lift the chest. Rock that hip from side to side. Awesome. Awesome. Releasing there. Take the hands behind the knees, lift the chest, lift the legs, just for a moment to feel that abdominal engagement, and cross the legs, hands to the knees, lift the hips up, walk your hands back to your feet, roll to stand. Bring yourself to the screen. This is it. We say our goodbyes within the 146.